Hi, welcome back. Super useful mixing technique today, and also what to do when the paint fights back. Okay, just uh, one colour and then black and white for this one. Uh, and this is yellow ochre. So the yellow ochre I'm going to put into two piles um, and we're going to tint one and we're going to make shades with the other which means basically I'm going to mix black through one and I'm going to mix white through the other so for the tints just using titanium white here and I'm just going to push this into this colour so the yellow ochre is a pretty close mix for the uh, middle colour Go up to a slightly bigger palette knife here. Make this life a bit easier. Here we go. That's better. Just wipe it off each time. As, uh, as tinted out as you like. Now what's happening here is it's getting a little bit uh, dry. See it's starting to stick on the palette knife now I'm just going to use a bit of safflower oil here you can use linseed oil as well palette knife is completely clean dip it into the oil now I'm going to mix that through again you see how much more workable it's become there take it to one end and then bring it back Okay, I think that'll do us for the tents. Clean the palette knife off. And again, just using baby wipes here just to keep it ever so clean. I'm going to open just with a little bit of oil here on the uh, yellow ochre in the next mix. I'll just push that through. Okay, and now the black. You don't need a lot for this. Start with a smaller amount. You can always add more in, but as I've mentioned before, you can't take it back out. If it feels like it's going too far into the line, too uh, too dark, just wipe the palette knife down. Again, cleaning it each time. Come back in from the clean, bright central colour there. Back out. This being flame, we don't actually want too much of the uh, uh, black to show, rather just a nice deep mix at that end of the line. There you go, now you can do this with a brush, it's just an awful lot more difficult to clean it in between each uh, each pass, it takes a lot longer. I'm going to call that done. So if we were to actually pull these out here into a, a scale, we're going from the white right the way through, through that middle colour, the uh, raw yellow ochre is pretty much that mid-tone, and then up the other side there into the darks. So there you go. Hope that's been useful to you. If it has, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Cheers.